So for today, we're going to be looking at Zuri real quick. This is going to be a quick video. I'm not going to go through all of the armor sets because this is just to let you know that Zer is selling the Escalation Protocol armor. So if you guys missed out on that, definitely pick it up. It is really, really cool. Here's the armor sets right now. I may throw in a shader if I'm feeling generous. But again, these are this is one is specifically I want to make a quick video because today is Sunday and I want to post it today. So that way I give people more time to like in case they don't know. And I will also have a like last call video for this as well, because I do think it's important because again, the escalation protocol armor, I don't think Xur has ever sold it. So I definitely want people to pick this one up. I do apologize that these videos are coming out really late. It's just that I had a vacation last week and I really enjoyed it. So yeah, it's unfortunate that he decided to sell a banger of an armor set because I do think this is a banger. Specifically, some pieces are bangers, some pieces are not. Let's look at the actual armor set right now. For me, I think the best armor set has to be the Titan. I think the Titan has the most pieces that are that could be utilized because the hunters, I'm going to be real with you guys. I don't like the helmet. The boots are OK. The chest piece is OK. The arms are decent, um, but they are uh, asymmetrical. Same thing with the boots. And then the cloak, is, I think, is the worst part. I think the cloak and the helmet might be the worst part or pieces of this just because the cloak not only is it really, really big, but depending on how you like the hood, because the hood is very geometry like shit. And I, I like it. Like, I like it. It's just too big when you put, put it with other helmets. Uh, speaking of helmets, I think the hunter helmet is not the best. I'm going to be real with you guys. I just don't like it personally. The fact that you, the green visor doesn't change color. The fact that the yellow wires don't change color and the fact that the helmet actually goes a little bit uh lower than the face is at so it looks really weird when you actually see it in place because your face is not all the way down there it's actually a little bit higher so that also bugs me a lot uh but yeah i think i think the pieces are fine uh you definitely pick up at least like the chest piece and boots i think those two are really good and very usable especially if you lean into the yellow uh wires because they don't change color so if you do lean into it that we have other armor pieces that don't change color for yellow so at that point, you could probably switch out the uh, the chest piece for the chest piece from Nessus because that one also has wires that don't change color that are yellow and then probably put the arms in there that you'll have a, another yellow and then a season, the, the season of the worthy boots also have either orange or yellow. I think the yellow one is the season pass armor and then the orange one is the actual like uh, seasonal activity armor. So. You can do a lot of things with it, but just be aware you will you will be you will be limited is what I'm saying. For the Titan, I think the helmet is fucking cool. I think it's super, super cool. It's just unfortunate that it doesn't glow anymore. Uh, the arms are OK. Boots are OK. Actually, I think the boots are probably the cool part, coolest part because the chest piece, while cool, looks a little weird and I do wish it was a little bit more different. And then the mark is OK. I definitely think the arms and the helmet are like the bangers of this set. And if you want to do like a Siva inspired or a war mind inspired, you're definitely going to want to pick up the helmet because I think the helmet does the best job for that. For the Warlocks, I think the helmet is probably the worst helmet I've seen the Warlocks get in a long time because it's pretty bad. To be fair, this, this helmet's been in the game forever, but I just still think it looks trash. The chest piece i actually think is really cool i definitely think this is the cool one and if you want to go for a siva inspired look this the chest piece is definitely the the piece for it and the arms are okay and for me the boots are fine as well like i think i think warlocks really suffer with not having really good boots and arms and i think it's the case for the, for this armor set and then the bond is kind of, it's, it's forgettable in my opinion so uh, for the Siva, uh, if you want to do a Siva look for your Hunter, I have done a Siva. Actually, I did a Siva look for not only my Hunter, but all the classes. I'll have them up right now. I totally forgot I did that, but I'm pretty sure I used at least some of these pieces for that Siva look. If not, I can make another video because I have that power. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I probably will be doing that because we did get another Warmind inspired uh, DLC or season, which was Season of the Seraph. So uh, that actually might happen. But other than that, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys going to be picking up some of this stuff? Let me know. Actually, I'm not going to end it. Let's let's look at some of the stuff here since I have you here. Well, peculiar with Outlaw Ad Adagio, which if it wasn't Adagio, I would actually say it's fine. Grave Robber, hit Rapid, nah. Killing Wind and Unrelenting, eh, and a Friction Fire, nah. Under Your Skin, actually, you should pick this one up. 
because once we get that like uh the red border thing you'll be able to get this one uh, hopefully it works retroactively judgment of kelgaroth also get this one as well because you can get two red borders or well each red border from these two uh blast but two and then lonesome this one last but two threat no and then lonesome rapid i actually really like this one i used to have a lonesome with swashbuckler and something else here and it's yeah this was this was my favorite uh sidearm to use with my titan just because uh it was the most fun so i definitely would re recommend this one especially since it has range finder for the thing and small bore oh i might pick this shit up hold on let me see um Ooh, I should not. Eh, it's fine. <clears throat> I'm pick it this one. For the exotics, we have Prospector, which is okay. We have Lucky Pants with a decent roll, actually decent roll. We have Armamentarium, which is a good exotic for Titan. Double grenade's always a good thing. Uh, Starfire Protocol, same thing. Double grenade for Fusion Ray Grenade. That's really good. D definitely pick this one up at least. And then Hawk Moon with Opening Shot, which I don't know if I'd like that. Uh, I don't even know the one that I have currently, but uh, Dead Man's Tale Vorpal, I would, <clears throat> I would, I don't know if I'd pick this one up actually. Vorpal on Dead Man's is fine. I much prefer Fourth Times a Char because, oh wait, does Cranial even do, give you damage anymore? No, I don't think it does. Okay, then I guess Vorpal's fine, but let me see what I'm getting here. I haven't done this in a while. Let me see. Hawk Moon. Okay, so just trash. It wasn't even a good roll. Let me actually check real quick. I can tell. Him will tell me. Uh, but yeah, I've uh, been really busy with a lot of things. Damn. Interesting. Interesting. Nine mobility, 22 resilience, 18 strength, 11 intellect. Jesus Christ. I actually might keep this one. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Again, uh, I am going to post another video tomorrow. Today's Sunday. Tomorrow, I will post the last call video around 10 o'clock in the morning. So that way, people have enough time to actually go pick the stuff up. Because I do think we have a lot of bangers this week. And I definitely want to pinpoint all of them. So let me know what you guys think. Be safe. And I'll see you guys later. <clears throat>